What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Key to the City. And I'm back with another banger! All right, bro. First of all, I am kind of tired. I just, man, I just, man, it's been a long day. I've been running all around the city, man, trying to pick up this TV for my parents. Not to mention, they've been working us like slaves, bro. I kid you not. All these hours, all this fast pace, everything. But yeah, so you know, got off from work, went to the gym, got my workout in, all that good stuff. And then, you know, I found a good deal on the TV. My homeboy was telling us where they got the TV, all that. I had to get TV for my parents and all that good stuff. Went to one Walmart. They said they had four in stock. Went there and they had one. It was LG 70 inch. So they went to the other Walmart, across. On the other side, cross town, on the other side of the city. Man, it's just been crazy, bro. But yeah, we did get the TV, uh, 70 inch Vizio for my parents. That TV went out, so I decided to buy them a TV that they've been wanting. Uh, Happened to get a good deal on it, and I will show that to you. Like I said, I've been running all around the world uh, trying to go back and forth, getting this TV and everything. So yeah, I just want to let you know this TV I did pick up for my parents, bro. You know, 70 inch. Vizio, you know, V-Series. I mean, it's going to do everything that they need it to do. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get right into this review that I want to bring to you all. But yeah, y'all, like I said, you also, you want to, like, um, a deal on the, you know, TVs and every good, all that good stuff, bro. I'm kind of tired. Man, check out Walmart, bro. I picked this TV up. It was uh, $598.99 before tax, so six forty one and some change after tax, depending on what state you stay in. But yeah, man. And we back. Good. But yeah, man, all of that good stuff. I have a review I want to bring to you all. Uh, had to get it out to you. All right. So obviously, you know, like I say, man, this is going to be one take key this year. Trying to do everything one take. Give you my raw, honest opinion. So, yes, like I said. And I'm tired. Like I said, though, yeah, man. Everything that I review... It's not going to be like your Jordans, your Adidas, uh, your classic retros, your all that good stuff, all your hype, your Yeezys. I'm, no. But I need to get a pair of Yeezys in the collection. I do need to do that. And I'm probably going to work on that. But today, obviously, get right into it. Peep the box. Check it out. Check out that size. Size 11. Not my size. As you see, Jordan 16. Nah, shoot, not Jordan 16. Jordan 6, 17, 23. All right, so obviously 6 and 17 equals 23. So there you get 6, 17, 23. You know, same old Jordan box. Move over. Same old Jordan box. Had to get my thumbnail out the way. But yeah, same classic Jordan box that you get your uh, your lows in and your mids in. Black box with the gold jump man. Right into it. Same wax paper with the gold 23. Let's just get right into the shoe. And this shoe, uh, it was picked up off of Nike. Now, it, obviously, it wasn't on sneakers because, you know, it, it's not a retro. But they do also release some things on sneakers. But this wasn't on sneakers. Just on Nike. All right. Yeah. Here we go. All right. So, this is your Jordan. This is your Black History Month. Jordan 6, 17, 23. Black History Month. All right, so obviously six plus 17 equals 23. So there you go. Now, this shoe has been re-released, but I don't think they did a Black History Month the first time they released it. And I will put a couple pictures of the ones that they actually have released. All right, I do remember this shoe. This shoe, does, it came out, bro, like I think I'm like five, six years ago, but it was actually more bulky. It was bulkier. This right here is kind of slimmer. And it, obviously, it does put you in the mind of a six, 
from the top, and then a 17 from around the toe box and all of that. Now, one thing I will say I do like about this shoe is the translucent blue. So, I love that. Now, all this on the side, I don't really too much feel that, even though this is see-through, so I could shine a light through and you can see it. All right, I don't think it has that uh, kind of insole. It doesn't have that polyurethane insole, so this, this still is more comfortable than your your retros that you're wearing. It's more comfortable than your six. I, I never ever wore a 17, so I don't know. But I know it's more comfortable. It's like geared up with that new technology. I will say so. But uh, man, this, this shoe right here, it's not really for my personal taste. It's my homeboy shoe. Because like, I think the price on this shoe is like, it's a, I think it's, it doesn't say. That's one thing that they're doing with that right there. They're not putting a suggested price tag on it. But I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 150 or 164. I I could check and put it up there, make sure. But yeah, man, this shoe, uh, they say it's supposed to be a performance shoe. I do remember when it came out. I think I was in like middle school, maybe high school at the time when it came out. So it might be eight, eight or nine years old. But man, now for a basketball shoe, would I recommend it? I don't know if you're gonna be able to catch any traction with this sole, I mean, with this out, outer sole right here. I'm not sure. I think you would be able to. I think it would be a good basketball shoe. Okay, it was, like when they first released them, it was for performance. So, yeah, but other than that, man, yeah, you can you can style this shoe. You can style it. I mean, if that's your style, you, you gotta rock what you, want, what you like to rock. Black History Month. But at price though, man, I think I would've went with a retro. Even though this is my homeboy shoe. I will give him credit, this is my homeboy shoe. And I understand, like, he's not really familiar with this whole, like, uh, the raffles and the bots, so all that is new to him. But I still think this is a clean shoe. What I personally wear, I would wear it, but I don't think I would've, I don't think I would've, I had to do like a lace swap with it, so. I could rock this shoe. You know I can rock this shoe if you really want to. I think it's more of a basketball shoe. Now for comfort, it is gonna outdo your regular, your six. I hate to say it, it's gonna feel more comfortable than your five. Cause I remember I had a pair of these back in the day. But mine was like the red and white colorway. And it, I remember it being more bulky than that. It had, it was all thick around the toe box. But yeah, man. With this shoe right here, yeah, I'll say, the price, like certain colorways, I say pay that price tag for because it's, it's still kind of expensive at the end of the day, you know, if it's for it not being a retro. Like, if you shoot ball with it and you really want it, I'll go for it. Or if you're going to just style it, like be your shoe that you can like rock when you go places, whatever, spend that money on certain colorways. And this colorway right here, I would say spend your money on because it's a safe colorway, man. It kind of put me in the mind of those with that stitching. They got that red and that white stitching. It kind of put me in the mind of those. Oh, I know it don't. I was going to say the Jordan 5, uh, Atlanta Jordan 5s, the Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Hawks Jordan 5s from way back in the day because they had that red stitching on the side. But it doesn't because they had a little yellow in this shoe. But, yeah, for the Black History Month, yeah, I'm so used to Black History Month being the ones. Because I'm a big ones fan. Man. I love the ones. So, I'm, but this, oh, this is new to me that they didn't go for like a six. They went for a, a shoe that kind of mimics the six round to round, you know, the anklet. With matter of fact, I don't think it have, has as much padding as a normal six would around an anklet. It, do, it doesn't. It, I don't think it does. Y'all comment below and let me know. Does it have as much padding around the ankle and the anklet as the uh, six? But it does with the pull tab. I mean, with you know, pull the heel tab. You know, uh, air on the back. Well, now they could have actually put that in like a little rib or something to go with this stitch and kind of bring this shoe out. I don't know if they put a lot of thought behind this shoe. But for Black History Month, I I really felt that they felt like they should have went with like a a six or a seventeen because they really knew. I think they need they need to bring out a seventeen, man. We don't really have a seventeen that's really just hidden like that. But yeah, man, I like. I mean, I like this shoe. I love the sole on it, the translucent blue sole. Love it. And it's a shoe that you can sway in the right colorway. I wouldn't spend my money unless I'm getting the right colorway, and I do believe this is the right colorway. 
I don't know. This is your boy Key to the City, bro. Help me, help you, help me. <laughs> and we out.